<laughs> so I think we're live. Oh wow. Oh wow. <laughs> Do I need to mute her? Um possibly. <laughs> Unless you have a question. Mm, <laughs> you talk too much. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> Have to sample her an animator. Uh, <laughs> you think you're hilarious. Yeah. Right, hang on. I'm going to turn my sound off, so I sh I'll okay. turn it back on if I have a question. Cool. So, um, to all the people that are joining us, and if, uh, if it's just me, I'm going to talk like there are billions of people out there. Hey, this is Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com, and welcome to our first little hangout. Uh, this is a test, and I want to see how well this is going to work, um, how well the, uh, the live stream is going to work, and eventually, hopefully, I'll be able to interview uh, more artists and animators doing this. I'm working right now in Toon Boom Animate. And I'm going to do a quick little sketch and show the main way that I work on um, animations. I think I'm going to just do a little rough little character here. And just kind of give them some ears. And give them a little nose. I'm just going to undo that. Actually, while I'm at it, I forgot to turn something on. I'm going to turn on my mouse pose. And for those of you who don't teach or do tutorials, um, mouse pose is a, a little plugin I use. So it actually shows uh, my key commands. And I'm very curious to see how well that's going to show up. Uh, the cool thing about working in Timbib Animate is like each of these little strokes here are like independent, so I can kind of work with them and just kind of get them exactly where I want them to be. Undo that. I think I like that a little bit better. Uh, I think I'm going to give him an old school 50s kind of haircut. And some eyebrows. Let's undo that. Give him a tongue there. Little collar. And this is just my little rough. Always name your layers. This is my sketch layer. And I'm going to go here, add another drawing layer. This is going to be my cleanup. Let's see, I'll go with black. Um, all right, so, yike, that was way off. All right, that's pretty good. And what I want to do next, um, I think I'm going to show off one of the things that's really cool about uh, working uh, with Toon Boom products is you can rotate the canvas while you're working on this. So I'm going to do Command and Option. Let's Control Alt on PC and let's zoom in here and rotate this a little bit more. Let's work on dude's hair. I think I like that last little curve there. Okay, that's better. And get the eyebrows to a point that I like them. Um, now looking at this really closely, this 
eye is bothering me a bit. So I'll do another little trick here. I'm going to smooth this out. Let's do, I think it's uh, Option Shift S, Alt Shift S on PC. And that'll smooth that out a little bit. And let's do Shift X and get back to our normal setting here. Let's zoom out. All right, so give them a few little buzz cuts here. Okay. No. Okay. That's, I think maybe I want to change the nose a little bit. Does that work? Mm, nah. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. While I'm at it, I've overstepped my line there a little bit. So let me get my cutter tool. Go to my properties, set this to lasso, and I'm going to set this to mouse gesture. And the cool thing about that, basically what it means is this line here is with the eye, it's kind of out of place. So if I click and just do a quick, okay, I'm going to zoom in here, just undo that. Hey, what did I lose? Let's redo. And redo. Okay. Let's try that again. Let's zoom in. Okay, that's better. So I'm going to undo that. So what you just saw was me just making a quick gesture with this section that's overlapping here, and it just cuts it away. And I think the nose right there is, could be smoothed up a little bit. So select that. Let's do Option-Shift-S, Alt-Shift-S on PC. All right, I'm thinking there's going to be probably, I keep doing these characters that kind of have the same feel to it, so I feel a series coming on of something. I don't know what. And he's yelling for some reason. I don't know, it'd be kind of cool to do something like military or basic training. I have to get my buddy DeMarcus to do some crazy drill sergeant voice or something. I want to have his dimple. Maybe if I'm going to have that part of a chin, just have a nice little dimple in it or something. And make sure I'm on the right layer. Just holding down my command key to get my select tool. Command Shift S. Looks good. All right. And Tony needs to study how to draw shirts better. Okay. Do you want to give him a tie? Sure. All right, zoom out. Wow, seriously, dude? Okay, let's just stretch that line. That's better. All right, blah, 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 looks good. Um, if you know, a thing I love to do is draw with these big old gaps and everything. And it's because I'm going to be coming in here in a second and just cleaning that up. Uh, let's see. What needs work? Okay. For right now, I'm just going to come down here at the base of this and do a very ugly little holder there. Okay. So we have our cleaned up line. I can turn off my sketch. Looks pretty good. And what I want to do now is really start working on closing uh, these large areas and show you exactly um, how we're going to do that. I'm going to grab my paint bucket. Actually, let me check the time. Uh, F16, 810. Okay, cool. I'm keeping with my word. I don't want to do this test too long. I'm going to go to stroke. Now what stroke does is it's going to allow me to come in here and I can actually draw out exactly where I'd like the rest of this fill to be. 
and they get a little alert that says you've added a stroke to the drawing, but it will not be visible unless you activate show strokes from the view menu. Um, I normally keep this on because I'm always doing tutorials and I like to have a reminder. So I'm going to do, I think it's a uh, D, press the letter D and I can actually see all the strokes and it's showing me that invisible stroke there. So let's go ahead and zoom in. And I'll fill in that little area. Let's see oh, where the tongue is. Fill the rest of that. Fill the neck there and that area. So this is how I do a lot of my work where there's like these gigantic holes and things. And I think it, it has an old school feel to it. Let's go that way. Um, if you notice, anytime you see that little red box, it just means it's open. And since it's already connected with the little blue box there, I'm not going to worry about that section. Okay, so that looks good. Everything looks good. Okay, now I'm going to zoom out. And, ah, one other thing. Since his hair is going to be a different color than his skin, let's see. Grab my stroke. Getting a weird thing here. Let's go. Thank you. Okay. Had a little glitch in the program. Um, so I'm just going to go in and just do this rough little buzz cut right here for the way the, way the rest of his hair looks. Uh, let's do something crazy. Kind of reddish orange. This will work for now because I'm always going to come in and, and change my colors anyway. So, yike. Wrong color. That's better. Okay. And let's see. Ah, I forgot most of the eye there. So, let's go ahead and do the stroke again. And there's that big red line there. I don't want that red mark. Okay, that's better. And let's go back to Mr. Paint Bucket. Grab the white. Let's do the eyes. Ah, I still left a hole there. Now, technically, I could go in and tell it to, let's see, do large gaps, and that'll take care of that. That's better. But, um, of course, the giant gaps that I had wouldn't actually do that, so. All right, so there's eyes. Let's fill those in, and let's get a decent flesh color to start with. See if this is going to fill. Yes, it looks like it did. Okay, and give a little less vibrant pink to his tongue there. zoom out and I think on the hair what I want to do let's turn off my um, little lines there I'm gonna give his hair color these a little bit different Yike. it's gonna hold down my shift key Actually, let's do it this way. And hold on, shift. Ah, fine. I'm going to do this really tricky way. Since I have my select tool set on lasso, I just have to grab parts of those. Yike. I'll come back and fix that in a second. I think I want to give that red. Select that. Okay. And pretty much
and select all the other little dots there and do the same color, but I'll do that later. Okay. Now the other cool part is, of course, um, I love the fact that the way the system works, if I decide later, you know what, that, that hair is not really working for me. Double click here and I can actually update this. So, yeah, there, make it a little bit, a little crazier. And pretty much that is how I can work on some things. And haven't really animated anything, but that's kind of how I go from that little guy to this guy here. And when we do the full length hangout, I'll show um, how I'm even going to go ahead and animate that. So maybe he's screaming or show how we're using drawing substitutions and things like that. So that, I believe, is about 15 minutes. Ah, just about right. So I think we are going to go infinity. I wonder if there's a quick here to end the broadcast. Let's see. Uh, la, 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 la. Let's see. Turn off my screen share. Can I do that? Words. Where did the chat go? Okay, so um, that's about it. So, what do you think, Terry? Are you still there? Still here. Cool. That's cool. The parts that I caught when I wasn't being attacked by a child. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. I was curious about that. Um, whenever you talk, it automatically switches to your camera view. Hmm. That is pretty nifty. I've never messed with Google Plus's Hangout. I don't really have too many friends on here, so. Well, hopefully I'll be changing that and, just, like I said, start doing things. I think that's, um, hope if I can get the Toon Boom community on here, um, and that way we can start talking live and and maybe I'll, the next DVD I'll be doing, it'll be like a conference of figuring out, okay, what do you guys want? What do you not want? Blah, blah, blah. That'd be so, cool. Yeah, I think so. Let's see. Words, words, words. But yeah, I think, um, and Kia had set it up. Um, <laughs> she had set it up that um, it went to, um, I think she posted it on Tony teach I'm curious so in theory if I go to tonyteach.com we'll see this live I think hmm I don't know we'll find out in a second <laughs> I can't see your screen anymore it's black really ah maybe I turned off screen share let's turn it back on right no ah okay there. Oh, there it is Okay. Nope, that's not what I was looking for. I am looking for something different. Ha, huh, this one. So let's see if this worked. Should it automatically upload? I don't know. Oh, cool. <laughs> ah, no, my living room. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a little delay. That's awesome. weird. Very neat. Well, okay, cool. I'm that. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much the gist of that. I think I've got to change my cover. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Yeah, you're welcome. Thanks for inviting us. No, no pun intended. I just caught us caught. I just said that. <laughs> <laughs>
So I'm going to yeah. go put my half asleep child to bed. <laughs> awesome. So yeah, I think um, eventually, if, have you? Are you still animating at all? Not recently, mostly only because I babysit my sister's children during the week, so I don't get any time to myself. Ah. <laughs> okay. She is a three-year-old and a, and a two-month-old, so unfortunately finding time to do art is, is hard. Point taken. But I miss it. It kills me. It kills me not being able to even find time to draw. Try 30, 30, 15. Just 30 minutes a day, do something. I try. <laughs> Last time I got my book out, my daughter got a hold of my stuff and she drew all over it. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. That has never happened to me. <laughs> oh, I'm sure. Never. I think that's okay. the, the curse of an artist having a child. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. And uh, for those of you, this is, I think it's going to be live. I think it'll post live. I don't know how long it takes. but uh, So talking to all the other people who are watching this after we recorded it, this has uh, been our little test, our little hangout test. I'll be doing a live one, or one that's not a test, since it seems like it ran pretty well, uh, and going through a full little process. Anyway, this has been Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com. Remember, keep it simple. Make it perfect. If you don't have time to make it perfect, rethink the idea. Have a good one. Now, where did that thingy go? <laughs>